What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on Form 4 Anime. In today's video, five quick facts about Kana Tachibana from the series Brian Hilda in the Darkness. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the Form 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So, this is the third girl I'm covering in my Brian Hilda in the Darkness video series. If you haven't checked out the others already, I've done Kuraha Neko and Kazumi. So I'll link one of those in the cards now and I'll link the other one towards the end of the video. Kana, really cute girl, you know. She's one character that I really did enjoy, especially her personality. I thought she was quite fiery and whatnot with her words. Interaction between her and Murakami was quite on point. I really enjoyed that, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. So, Kana is obviously female. She stands or lies, that really bad pun, at 150 centimeters. She is a rank B magician or witch, and her research number is 4010. In terms of her appearance, she has short blonde hair with those drill like pigtails, which is quite cool, reminds me of like the, the Dangan Romper thing. As well as this, she has red eyes and she wears that gothic Lolita dress. I couldn't find out her exact date of birth, but it is revealed that she is, of course, 14 years of age. Also, according to her character entry, in the Brian Hilda and the Darkness material, Kana likes to eat anything that's not field grass. And, you know, bless her, obviously, every time that she does eat, it has to be blended and she just scream like, no! But yeah, unfortunately, that's the only way she can eat. It seems that Kuraha is not the only one with a birthmark. Kana's sister says that she indeed has two birthmarks on her foot. This was actually confirmed. Kana's power is foresight. She is actually limited to only seeing deaths that will occur in the near future. And of course, if nothing is done, the future she sees will occur like 100% to the exact detail. However, this future can be changed. And she used these powers many, many times to prevent the deaths of the astronomy club members. I really enjoyed her power in the show as well. I thought it was fantastic to the plot and I think it just worked really well. Let me know again what you thought of her power in the section below. Sticking with the theme of her powers, of course, the more she got into the process of becoming a magician, which she did become paralyzed, and this was due to the harness that was implanted into her. And because of this, she was very, very limited to what she could do. She could only drink or move her left hand. With the left hand, what she'd, what she'd do, since she couldn't speak, is she'd use a device which kind of synthesizes her voice when she types in what she wants to say. As sad as it is for her character, I thought it was absolutely fantastic in terms of like the character dialogue in the show. I thought it was really, really good. However, once the third button on her harness had been pushed, Kana starts to gain the ability to move normally. Unfortunately, she does lose the powers of her precognition, and the downside to this is because she spent many years in that paralyzed state, it did decrease the growth of her body over the years, which made her significantly weaker than someone of her own age would normally be. And quite a funny fact while we're on this one as well, even after regaining the ability to move again, she still maintains the habit of lying on a couch. Thought that was pretty cool. Final fact, obviously, if you've watched my other two Brian Hilda and the Darkness ones, you'll know that fact five is to do with the, the lovely ladies of the ladies. And of course, even though she is the youngest and the smallest from the girls in the show, she still has a bigger chest than Kazumi. And for those of you who are wondering, Kana's cup size comes at a B. But thanks for watching this for my video. Five quick facts about Kana Tachibana from the series Brian Hilda and the Darkness. Of course, if you'd like to see more anime facts videos, anime subscription box openings, figure reviews, and more, then hit the subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, share this video with a friend, or leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what your favorite Takana moment was from this show. There are many, many, many to choose from. But that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Take care.